There's nobody. There's nobody here. What are you doing? I've got to find somebody. I'm it. What do you mean you're it? I'm it. I've been tagged, so I'm it. I, Angela from Our Life on a Budget and Eboli and Erica both tagged me. So I've got to find someone and tag them so they're it. But I, I can't find anybody. Oh, God. Dude, it's not that kind of a tag. Huh? What do you mean? It's a YouTube collab thing. Like, a YouTuber comes up with some questions and answers them, then tags other people to make videos and answer them too. And then they tag others and it goes on, that type of thing. Oh, oh, oh okay, I, I get it right. So I don't need the sword then. Why would you need a sword? What is up, my fellow money minions? My name is Troy, also known as the dollar dude. You're looking great, good to see you again. And as all the money minions out there know, we talk personal finance and building a life full of financial freedom here and we keep it as simple and as real world as possible. So if you're down with that and you're not yet a minion, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so you don't miss a second of the awkwardness that is this guy. So this is a tag video and how it works if you don't know already is that there was a list of seven questions going around that a bunch of YouTubers have been answering. And then they tag another YouTuber to answer the same set of questions. Angela from Our Life on a Budget and Andy Boone and Erica have both bestowed upon yours truly the honor and privilege of being tagged in their recent videos. So I'm gonna do it. So this tag is called how to live on less and save money. I mean, how to live on less and save more money. I mean, how to live on less and save more. I, I mean, how to save dollar dollar and live on less. You know what, I'm just gonna call it whatever the heck I want because I'm a strong independent black woman who don't need no man. As for me, I'm gonna tag Kelly at Freedom in the Budget. She's already been tagged, but at the time I'm recording this, she still hasn't done it yet and she gave me permission to call her out for not doing it yet. So. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm also gonna tag Dennis over at True Financials because I don't think he's been tagged yet, but if you have, then you just got double tag. So yeah, links in the description, they're awesome, check them out. Plus, if you're a YouTuber or just someone inspired by this video and you haven't yet been tagged, I hereby tag you. Just leave a message down in the comments letting me know that you're gonna do the tag and I'll add a link to your video or channel in the description after your video is posted. Cool, let's go. What are the most important frugal things you do every day to save money? Of course, bringing your own lunch to work and doing meal prep is a fantastic way to save money. But one thing I've started doing recently is that when I do eat out for lunch or dinner, my drink is water, 90 to 95% of the time. Not only is it better for you health-wise, but it can really blow your mind just how much you save over time on your restaurant budget by just drinking more water. In fact, let's say for the sake of argument that you went out to lunch four times and got water instead of soda or coffee that cost $2.50. That's an entire $10 saved in your restaurant budget that you could use to go eat out again just by drinking more water. What is your best strategy for saving on utilities? You got the standard answers like flip the lights off when you leave the room or unplug stuff that's not in use. But my absolute favorite tip, and I believe Angela touched on this as well, is to get yourself a smart thermostat. I actually picked up the Nest smart thermostat a little bit ago. You probably know how these work, but in case you don't, they learn your schedule and shut off the heating and cooling when no one's home. You can even set it to turn on slightly before you arrive home from work or whenever. So you come home to a perfectly comfortable temperature even after the unit's been off all day, saving you money. So awesome. If you want to pick one of these up for yourself, there's a link in the description, so check it out, but make sure it's in your budget. What is your best tip to save on food and household products? Bogos, dude, all day, every day. Look for the bogos. In fact, I hardly buy anything that isn't a buy one, get one free if I can help it. Wholesale clubs are great for this for the people who actually use their memberships. <laughs> You know who you are. But you gotta make sure you got a decent freezer to store all the food you buy in bulk. You also might wanna look at buying a vacuum sealer like the Food Saver just so you don't end up throwing out those 15 pounds of flank steak that you got the sick deal on, bro. What is your best tip to save on clothes? Believe me, I am the wrong person to ask this question to. I haven't purchased new clothes in like, almost forever. I get a new shirt or two and maybe some pants like once every six months, if that. In fact, when I first got debt free, one of the first things I splurged on to celebrate was buying a new shirt. Yeah, for me, that qualifies as a splurge. Welcome to my world. In fact, I think this is the shirt. I didn't even plan that out. I kind of tend to wear my clothes until they disintegrate into like a, like a fine powder. If you're more the type of person to keep up with the latest fashion trends, then hey, you do you. That's just how I roll. Powder. I roll with powder. Hey, maybe that's a tip in and of itself. Just don't buy clothes until you absolutely have to. 
Ha, I still answered the question, go me. What is your best strategy to stay out of debt or pay it down? My strategy is to stay knowledgeable and combine that knowledge with doing the zero-based budget because zero-based budgets are where it's at if you wanna get out of debt or stay out of debt. They're basically like a surgeon's scalpel, like the most basic of tools that you need to get started. Plus, it's really, 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 really hard to put yourself in debt on paper because in order to do that, you basically have to admit to yourself that you're being dumb. Well, my budget's all done, got everything planned that, uh, the total at the bottom here is in a bright, bold red color and it's negative. Cause this month, we're gonna spend more than we make. Boy, howdy. Nobody's dumb enough to do that if they're actually writing it down. Knowledge is power here and I'll tell you what I mean. If I ask you how much debt you have or for the debt free people, how much is in your emergency fund, you should be able to tell me the amount down to the cent because that's the type of dedication that happens when you've decided to truly stay on top of your financial situation. You should be like, I have $17,632.49 left to pay off. I recently sent in a payment of $916.65 and it should post on the 28th. That on top of it. No one gets out of debt by accident. It's a calculated effort backed by a combination of information and intensity. Please share one thing that you do to save money that other people don't know. I cut my own hair, so I don't spend any money at all on haircuts. Yeah, for as long as I can really remember, I've cut my own hair. I just invested in a decent pair of clippers and I just run it over my dome every two weeks or so. I'm a bit lucky in that regard because I think I look good bald, but I'd say taking some time to have you or your partner learn a few things about how to style hair might be worth the time and equipment investment. I haven't been to a salon or barber in more than a decade, so I have no idea what a decent haircut costs these days days, but I hear it's pretty expensive. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have tips or tricks to save money that other people might not know about. How important is it for you to save money? It's not. It's not important to save money, not at all. Why would you want to save money? I can't think of a reason anyone would want to save money. Having an emergency fund isn't important at all. Leaving a lasting legacy? Psh, legacies are overrated. In fact, what are you watching right now? This video doesn't exist. This channel doesn't exist. I don't exist. None of this is real. It's all an illusion. These aren't the finance tips you're looking for. Disclaimer, Troy, also known as the Dollar Dude, would like the viewers of this video to know that it is extremely important to save money for your financial future. Also, he does in fact exist, and is a living, breathing human currently living on the planet Earth. The purpose of this disclaimer is to clarify the information presented in this video, as sarcasm is commonly misunderstood as truth on the internet. Also, he does not actually have Jedi powers. He is currently working on that. We now return you to the outro. And this one is done, guys. Hit the like button if you liked it, or if you're not- You know what, screw it. We're just gonna keep doing the outro like this. I've kinda got a vibe going here. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this, or if you're not yet a Money Minion, subscribe to the channel if you feel inclined to do so, as we would love to have you. Also, if you have a question, finance or otherwise, please leave a comment down below, and we shall discuss it. So until next time, fellow Money Minions, I am Troy's awesome voice, and we will see you guys next time.